three. Yeah, we're starting out day three. Uh, we camped here last night in the North Minor Meadows. The south end of... At the south end of it. Uh, nice night. Nobody come through here. We have only seen two people since yeah. we started the trail, and that was two miles in on the first day, and they were packing out. Yep. We have not seen another soul. We've heard a few domestic dogs, so we know there's people out here. Oh, take that back. We did see... Yeah, we saw a group of six. A group of six, but they but were... They were away from us. Yeah, they, we were on top of a ridge, and they were down at a lake. We camped right here. A little stream right here behind us made it real easy to fill up with water clean up a little bit last yeah night. we got to rinse ourselves off a little bit just with some cool water oh my gosh it was no, cold not, yeah it's not cool water it's, cold, it's water. cold and i made the mistake of wetting my hair down <laughs> went to bed with it wet yeah. hence probably why i don't feel so well this morning yeah. i was a little congested and yeah. coughing but hey we're about to get a 2000 foot oh, climb gosh coming at us so nothing like that to risk climb in the morning to get yeah. you going. I'm sure my attitude and pers will be a little different. As soon as we start that. This afternoon. Probably before that. <laughs> but so we didn't film much at camp last night. We'll try to film some camp yep. tonight because hopefully we'll get to camp earlier because because of the large climb and how rugged it is we're probably going to do a shorter day today and a long day tomorrow. Yep on our fourth and final day. Yep. So we'll see how it goes. Plans, our plans never seem to work out exact, yeah. but you know, it's. It is what it is. It is what it is. Well, we just kind of go with it. Yep. So, All right. See you on the trail. Let's head out. And this is where it turns sharply to the right. And this is where our uphill begins. Yep. Well, the walk through the meadow didn't take very long. No, it did not. Which, you don't get to see the meadow, but from afar. So, here we go. Hey, so we're about two miles in. We decided we'd stop here and take a break on this switchback. Uh, it's been pretty gradual up so far this morning on switchbacks, but we're fixing to hit an area that I think it's going to pretty try to go straight up the darn mountain. So we stop, get a break, get a little relax in our legs and get ready for this uphill climb that's coming up. But this is, what we're looking at here beautiful views beautiful area they hit it right when they labeled it a strenuous hike though it's been tough but you know what uh, if it's not labeled strenuous there's too many people out here doing it so we'll enjoy our hike in serenity see you on the trail Cool rock formation. 
unfortunately this is the closest you're going to get to it today. Yeah. I'm not hiking up there to it so you can get a better look. So, looks like I'm like a chimney. Like we have made it to the John Henry Lake you trail you can take down that way. Is it actually a lake or just camp? It's a lake. Okay. A small lake with a camp. And then headed up this way, we are headed up Wilson Pass. So we're right now we're at about 7,200 feet. So we should over. should have about 600 that's, yep, that's feet of elevation to go. Yep. And then we will be the rest of the way downhill hopefully we shall see I'm assuming this is the top of Wilson's Pass. I hope so. Oh my gosh. Hope we didn't take a wrong turn. <sighs> and I'm guessing that down there is going to be Brownie's Basin. 2,600 feet in elevation today in less than six miles. Yeah, it looks like we're supposed to give up most of that in about a mile. Yeah. <sighs> Beautiful place. Wow. What a gorgeous house. Yeah, pretty amazing. Now are we are on the switchbacks down to Brownie Basin. So we made it to Brownie Basin. This was going to be our night three camp spot, but it's only two o'clock, yeah, and we only have six miles out to the car. About we about know. six, six and a half maybe. So we're just gonna head out go and give ourselves two days to recuperate before we fly back home yep. and get us a shower because we are so. Filthy. That's the one thing, and and I'm not complaining at all. But it's a, a lot of the trail is very dusty because it's so graded dry. for stock, and it's great. It, yeah. All of it's graded for livestock. Yeah. And they keep it pretty well powdered down. Yeah. So. 
but that does make for a very dusty trip I mean our feet <laughs> and legs everything is covered in dust but anyway so this will be the last so it's like three three and a half miles to the Bowman trailhead which is where we're gonna exit this should come out around the trail um, and then it's like a three mile road walk to get back to the trailhead we started at so once we get to the Bowman trailhead that'll probably be the last of our video but we'll try to video a little bit of this last section for you so we'll see you in a bit down there that we're actually about to hit this is supposed to be a long switch back down to the trailhead so it's a long way down there I'm ready for this to be over because my body is in pain but I'm not ready for it to be over because it's just absolutely beautiful it's such a it's been such a great hike so we have done three days two nights I think by the time we're done, it's going to be about 32 miles. If it's not, I'll correct that on the screen. 6,900 feet of elevation gain and loss because we have to go back down to where we started. So the book labels this as a strenuous hike and it's not lying, <laughs> but it is a beautiful hike. And if I can do it, anybody can do it. All right. See you later. You know, we take a look at this, and I just had a thought. It amazes me how the scenery is always prettier on the downhill side. <laughs> Yeah, we're videoing a lot more on yeah, We tend to video a lot more on the downhill side than we do the uphill side of these hikes. I think it's because it's just prettier. I don't think it's because of our attitude on the uphill side. I think it's because we can't breathe on the uphill. Yeah, she's just running her head. We have to focus all our energy on the uphill. I think it's just prettier on the downhill my fault my theory and this the uh, camera's in my hand so i'm the one that's right here good day is that beautiful or what
not as big. For reference, that's a 12 and a half. Man's 12 and a half. Man's 12 and a half. So as we were getting ready for this high kit, Eagle Cap Wilderness, did a lot of research. Uh, we found the trail through uh, all, a search on all trails. And then once we got to that, we found uh, went online and found the Eagle Cap Wilderness uh, through the Forest Service, their webpage. Now, all trails list all the, tra the trails on this loop by name, where everything on the Forest Service page is by trail number. So you got to kind of uh, look at, compare the two maps. Uh, all trails, the map on all trails, and then, but then the Forest Service so on their website, you can also get to a, uh, to a trail map. Uh, and check with the Wallowa Mountain uh, Ranger Station in Joseph, Oregon. I believe it's where it's at. Uh, for conditions. You know, I called them a couple of times just to check uh, on fire conditions and what have you. Make sure it was safe for us to come out here before we got here. But be sure and do your research. Last thing you want to do is come out here and have problems. So do your research. Make sure you got your route planned out well. Make sure you talk to the folks you need to talk to to make sure you can do it safely. Anyhow, see you on the trail. This will be our last break spot. Look at how clear that water is. How pretty is that? And that is it. We have finished this trail. Now it's just a three mile road walk yep. to get the car. All right, that's gonna do it for this one. Enjoyed it, see you next trip. Yep, it's been a great one, a beautiful one, and a very tough one. That's for sure. All right, see you next time. See you on trail. Bye. You are not hidden There's never been a moment You were forgotten You are not hopeless Though you have been broken Your innocence stolen I hear you whisper underneath There is no distance that cannot be covered over and over. You're not defenseless. I'll be your shelter, I'll be your armor. I hear you whisper underneath your.
I hear you whisper, you have nothing.